is 741. The CDC says autism is prevalent in one in 68 children in the United States, and a new study shows that signs may be detectable rather as early as 12 months. Joining us this morning, pediatrician Dr. Ahmad Belouni. Dr. Belouni, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So what exactly does this study find? This is big news. Yeah, so this was a smaller study. I mean, it, it looked at about 148 children in North Carolina. And what they did was they actually mostly looked at siblings of kids who like had a brother or sister that already had autism. Mm -hmm. And then they did MRIs at ages six months, one year and two years. Okay. And they were able to find that about eight out of 10 times they could predict whether a kid would develop autism based on the size of their brain. And they could do that through MRIs? Is that not common to do an MRI on a child? It's not common because an MRI is actually a difficult study. Um, you know, an MRI is not like a CT scan or an X-ray. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to do, and your child has to be completely still, which I'm sure if any of you out there have a child, is, is not the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I have three. I can't even imagine what that would be like to, yeah. to get them to sit still. So the study is supporting this theory that they've talked about, autism associated with overgrowth of certain brain, brain regions. What does this exactly mean? I mean, it's early to say what it means, but what it, what the most, I think, important thing about this study, because it's a small study and it needs to be repeated on mm -hmm. a larger group in order for us to really have something more definitive, is that the changes in autism actually happen before we detect anything socially because a lot of times in the real world in my practice you know we see kids parents pick up on autism somewhere between 12 to 24 months like between that first and second year but it, it, according to this study these changes in the brain are happening much earlier okay so why wouldn't you be able to pick up on those cues earlier. Why 12 months? I mean, if I was looking at some of the signs of the autism, it's like the cooing, the eye contact, the smiling. Don't most babies, um, you'd be able to pick that up at six, seven, eight, nine months? That's a good question. I mean, once in a while, you know, a parent does pick that up, but you got to keep in mind that what autism, what we define it as mm -hmm. is it's a disorder of social interaction. Basically like a kid who, when you walk in the room, doesn't smile at you, doesn't look at you. And so a lot of times when, you're, when your child is a young baby, the social interactions that you expect for them just aren't as great. And, and so. And this is more common for boys still than girls? Yeah, the ratio is about four to one in boys to, compared to girls. And with this study uh, that came out with the MRIs, what does this mean for, for treatment options, if in fact this is true? What it means is hopefully that we can find some sort of marker where we can identify kids who are more likely to get autism earlier on, and then that way we can start to come up with treatment plans uh, earlier. If there's one thing that's been shown about autism, it's that when we catch it earlier, when we detect it earlier, and when we give kids more intensive treatment, they do better. And so the earlier that we can start to detect these things, the better outcomes we can have. I'm sure this is great news for a, a lot of parents who have children who have autism. Dr. Ahmad Bey thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, time now is 744. Let's get you outside to Raul. All right, this guy next to me ran three.